In English, we had a Holocaust project where we had to make a 3D model. We got the topic of deaths in the Holocaust. Um, we decided to do a crematorium model. It's scaled down from the original. Um, it's about 30 by 17. And in the, the furnaces were about this size. They had doors on the front and they would have doors on the back, which they also had stairs behind the furnaces so that people could come and clean them out from behind. Um, and then they would have tracks so they could push carts down piles of bodies to each furnace. Um, within 24 hours they would probably burn about 12,000 bodies and then they would come and either clean out or leave the previous burned bodies to keep the furnaces going for the next batch of bodies. Um, with our model, we had a gas chamber attached. With this particular crematorium, it had a gas chamber within the larger room. Um, the blue ink on the walls is actually food coloring, but it represents the poison of the gas that they use. Um, and on the door of the gas yeah, chamber, the, the door of the gas chamber had a little window so that the SS guards could actually come in and see if the bodies were dead or if everyone was in there was dead. And then they would bring the bodies to the crematorium section and put the bodies in the furnaces to get rid of the bodies. And then they did, the crematoriums did have windows, but they were blackened out and barred off so that nobody could see inside. And then, well, some, some of the crematoriums had lower sections, but this one, this one that we looked up did not. Um, they could probably fit within each furnace, they could probably fit about 15 people. <laughs> um.